Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to The Morning Mindset. It is time for you and for me to get our minds aligned with the truth of God. That is why we are here. It is a time for us to get ready for the day, and I trust that you are ready to do that today. Before we get started, I want to share with you another story from a listener to show you what God is doing through The Morning Mindset. This is really amazing. This listener writes, and she says, Through the beauty of technology, because I live in New Zealand, I stumbled across your podcast as I was wanting to find a daily devotion. Now I know it wasn't just a stumble, but something God knew that I needed. (laughs) Oh my, how what a blessing that is to my heart. I just love knowing that God is sovereign and he has placed these opportunities in our way every single day to grow in him. And that's what these current episodes of The Morning Mindset are about as we look toward 2020. We're looking toward the new year, trying to gain a godly perspective about what's ahead. Because we often set New Year's resolutions and make goals toward the new year. And I want you to consider that God himself is with you as you move into the new year. He is for you. He wants you to accomplish good works and good things this coming year. You can go back to the previous episode and listen. There's scriptural basis for that. But as this listener wrote in to me, part of her story, she says she's a mom to three young children, and she doesn't often get time in the morning to read her Bible, but it's the time that she really needs the most. Can you relate with that? She says the podcast is a perfect way for her to align her mind and thoughts, and it's amazing how God speaks to her through that as he sees fit. And I totally agree with that. God is big enough. God is awesome enough to guide us day by day by day. And if he's using the morning mindset to do that in your life, I praise him for that. That's a wonderful thing. And today, as we think about this, I want to look at a prayer that Paul prays in the New Testament for some of the people he's writing to. And I want to walk through it and pray it For us, as we look at 2020, what is the new year going to hold? He says, for this reason, I bow my knees before the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. And here's his prayer, that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Wow, my friends, I feel we could all use a prayer like that every single morning of 2020. Couldn't you? Couldn't you use that? I'm telling you, we're going to walk through this in the days to come. But what I want to highlight for you today is that God is there for you in 2020. Just like Paul was leaning on God and praying God would help these believers that he was writing to, to have the strength and power they needed through the Holy Spirit. God is there for you as well. And I want to encourage you, reach out to him in a new way this year. I mean, do you want 2020, spiritually speaking, to just be a carbon copy or a cut and paste of 2019? If you're listening to the Morning Mindset, I doubt that that's true for you. I doubt that you want it to be the same. You want to grow. You want to thrive in your relationship with Christ. You want your faith to come online in new ways. And I believe God wants that for you in 2020. But we've got to do some of that work, don't we? We've got to put ourselves in a place where the blessed reign of God can fall on us. That might mean we got to get out of our comfort zone. It might mean that we need to reach out to him in desperate prayers of faith like this one that Paul prayed and ask him to empower us for the things that are coming our way in 2020. In the days ahead, we're going to look at this passage more in depth, but I want to encourage you, start thinking about what you feel God would have you pray for for 2020. And join me again tomorrow.